Okay, welcome to this presentation. Uh, my name is Andreas Bechdahl. I'm working with a, a reseller in Denmark, uh, Wingman Solutions. Uh, we are a value-added reseller located uh, here in Denmark and we focus exclusively on Cisco solutions. Uh, so I will tell you about a use case for programmability that we have been working with uh, regarding uh, some enhancements for uh, compatibility with uh, Cisco software-defined access networks. So our company has a programmatic approach to problem solving. Uh, so we've all been in this business for long and uh, we are trying to make use of all the tools that we can uh, to do automation and uh, integrations. Uh, and the APIs and programmability in general uh, helps us uh, doing that. Um, so uh, the issue that uh, we're trying to solve um, is a very specific use case. Uh, we have a challenge that is present in most uh, software-defined access networks. Um, we do see some endpoints not getting onboarded correctly into the SD access network, and uh, we needed to, uh, to find a solution for this. Um, the customers who own the SD access solutions expects a dynamic method for all endpoints to be onboarded and uh, to have them uh, correctly micro segmented as well when they uh, when they go on board the SDA fabric. But in in some cases, uh, we have seen uh, these kinds of silent hosts uh, that acts unusually from a networking perspective. We've seen this primarily in manufacturing halls, uh, where we have some robot or other IoT devices that uh, that is not uh, behaving normally um, from a networking point of view. So this actually results in some kind of incompatibility uh, and that is definitely an issue. So we needed to solve this uh, as part of an SD access rollout uh, and, the, and the tools we used uh, was uh, the programmatic approach. So what we needed to do was that we needed to go close to the endpoints that has these uh, challenges. Uh, and for that, we use a distributed solution. So in this case, it would be the iOS XE application hosting feature that is available on the Catalyst 9000s. Um, so on these uh, switches, we deploy uh, containers across all the SD access S nodes. And this container is then responsible for, um, for doing this enhanced onboarding that is, uh, that is not natively supported. So we do this by, um, uh, utilizing uh, an event-driven uh, uh, solution that actually combi combines a few features uh, from the Cat9K platform. So that's uh, uh, guest shell and onbox, onbox Python and the API itself, of course, uh, in combination with EEM scripting. So we use different tools uh, and match them up with each other to kind of gain this functionality where we can do onboarding of devices that uh, would uh, not be supported uh, generally. So just a quick overview of the solution. Um, we have in the middle here, we have our SD access edge node. So that's basically the switch that uh, connects all the endpoints to the network. We have uh, lots of these uh, throughout the, uh, the manufacturing hall. And then we have the devices that is connected to them. Uh, and usually when you connect the device and, uh, and you onboard the device onto the fabric, then we have some communication with the software defined access control plane nodes, as well as Cisco ICE platform. Uh, but in case of silent hosts, we have an issue because we never know that these hosts are there. So what we need to do in step one here is we need to monitor the switch for some kind of, um, uh, some kind of detection that uh, an interface has gone online, but we don't really see a probably authorized uh, endpoint on this specific switch port. So this is continually monitored, and if that uh, problem arises, then we continue to step two, and then the app takes over and does some, um, some enhanced detection of the endpoints that are, that are connected. So we have a few mechanisms that we use there to, get, uh, to force the device to actually uh, return some kind of packets and communication to us so that we can do proper onboarding. Um, there are different scenarios where we use different uh, mechanisms for, for this, but it's all handled uh, from the app on each individual edge node. And from there, we have step three, four, and five, and these are just regular uh, SD access onboarding. So we have uh, integration with the Cisco ICE platform and the control plane, 
Uh, and then Cisco Eyes uh, can, can also do uh, regular profiling of these devices afterwards. So this is just standard on, uh, on onboarding as soon as the device has uh, has come to uh, uh, has come alive. So what has this solution done for us? Well, first of all, uh, we have happy customers who see their SD access solutions uh, perform seamlessly for any kind of host. So no matter what, if it's a regular host or any kind of silent device. Um, and uh, this actually uh, provides some value add for us uh, as a value added reseller um, to, to actually put on top of SD access. So that means that now we can uh, we can add that, that to our portfolio of services that we can provide around the solution. Uh, and that also makes SD access more compatible with any kind of environment. So that means we can utilize this technology in many more cases. Uh, and that actually increases the number of potential, uh, potential SD access projects that uh, we can do as a company. Um, so this has also brought uh, some attention uh, to us uh, at Wingman Solution um, because we solved this challenge. Um, we see that the silent host problem is uh, definitely out there and we see a need for it to be solved because we have been contacted by uh, different uh, companies and customers and, uh, and other Cisco partners as well uh, that, that need help with, uh, with solving this issue. So this is just an example of how programmability has led us to excel together with our customer to actually uh, finalize uh, an SDA implementation that, that would have been impossible otherwise. So thanks for listening in, into this.